Cody here with GungHoDogTraining.com and in this video we're going to teach you how to get your dog to wait before going through the door. A lot of times your pup is super excited to either go outside or to come inside and they don't really honor that threshold of the door. Sometimes they'll try to barge their way through before you can even get the door open. And so if you set up a system for your dog, you can really establish a nice flow to going through the threshold of your house, going through doorways, whether it's coming inside or going out. We have Theo here in the crate. I'm gonna let him out and we're gonna go out this door right here behind me. I'm gonna just show you the process that I go through with him as we go outside. Now Theo already knows how to sit and how to stay in that sitting position for a period of time. So that would be a prerequisite that I would really try uh, to get your dog to do is really work on having them sit and then having them stay in that sitting position for a certain duration. And one more thing before I forget, if you're new here, push the subscribe button all the way in and click the bell to get notified when you post new videos. That's on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you check out gungho-dogtraining.com. I do have a lot of free guides on there and there's video courses on there. Just check it out. You won't be disappointed. All right, Theo. Theo. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. Hey. You guys want to go outside? Yeah? Apparently we have Chief here as well, so we'll just use both of them. So before I even open the door, they're kind of running around, they're not paying attention, but I'm gonna ask them to sit. So, Theo, sit. Good, good boy. Chief, come here. Chief, sit. Good, good. So I've asked them to sit. Chief, no, sit. Anytime they get up out of the seated position, I'm gonna correct them. If they go into a down, that's okay. I will basically want them to stay put. So I'm gonna ask them to sit. If they lay down, it's okay. I'm gonna open the door. They're still staying in their positions. A lot of times when you do this with the dog for the first time, you open the door and they take the door opening as an okay to get up or to go. Um, Theo's obviously super excited. Are we gonna open the door? Nope. So Theo got up. I'm gonna shut the door. Theo here. Heel. Yeah, that's that's right. Right there. Sit. Good. Good. And then I'm gonna open the door again. So anytime the dog gets up from their position without you giving their giving them permission, you reverse the action that you're doing. So the benefit of them sitting and being still is that they get closer to actually being able to go outside. But then as he got up, I shut the door again. And even though I'm not saying anything specific to him, he's aware of the door and he's paying attention and he's watching. So he is getting that communication. I'm gonna go ahead and open the screen door. It's a little bit more loud. Get bang on it a little bit. He's doing really well. I've been working on this with him, um, so he's doing doing really well. Now I'm gonna release one at a time, and we'll see. Uh, I know that Chief would probably stay there, but I'm pretty sure Theo won't. So, Chief, Chief. So I didn't let Theo out because it wasn't his turn. I'm gonna shut the door again. Theo, sit. Good, good. <clears throat> he just gave a little grunt, kind of like, man, Chief's outside and I'm not. All right, so he's done really well. The door's open now, I'm ready for him to go outside. I've already passed the threshold, which is one thing I always try to do with the dogs is I try to pass first, uh, just to get them into a pattern of I always lead, whether we're going inside or outside. Deal, outside. There we go, it's outside. A lot of it is just repetition. If every time before you go through a threshold, whether it's a gateway or a door, you wanna have your dog sit and stay in that position for up to 10 seconds. 
10 seconds is a really long time, but it's a great way to really establish that habit with your pup and to get them to realize, okay, when I go through a threshold, I have to have permission. I can't just barge my way through. I need to have permission. And that's great for if you go up to somebody else's house, maybe they don't want dogs in their house. Uh, it's really a bad situation if, if somebody opens the door to their house and your dog goes running inside. Use this technique with your pup. Make sure you tell your pup I say hi, and we'll see you in the next one.